it's Talia here welcome back to another studio vlog on this channel it has been way too long since I filmed a studio vlog I want to say it was September was my last one um, today is Saturday November 21st it has been a very very strange month for me uh, again I'll just kind of chat a little bit at the beginning and if you don't want to listen to that then you can jump to this part here but I had posted briefly about this on Instagram I'm really not gonna dive too much into it in this particular video either but I have been having a lot of like mental health things going on in November I feel like it's been building for a while but this month it just like really came to head and so I'm trying to navigate this new journey of taking care of my mental health and putting that first and foremost, like above everything. Um, I am like a stay at home, work at home, mom of two, so it's very busy. Uh, I just feel a lot of pressure lately and some things have just had to take a back seat. So um, you guys have probably noticed that content has slowed down a little bit on my channel in November and that is why. So I am working through it. <laughs> It's definitely been an interesting month and an interesting journey and it's taking me giving myself a lot of grace and a lot of patience but I am doing what I can to navigate through it so um, maybe somewhere down the road I'll chat a little bit more about it but not today <laughs> today's focus is a studio vlog which um, are some of my favorites to film and I'm really excited to actually sit down and do one because we have a lot to do today. First and foremost, I have two videos that I need to film today. Uh, we have Fusion's winter collection that needs to be filmed and then I also have Beamy's nude collection, what do they call it? The creamy collection, I believe, uh, that needs to be filmed as well and those are priority like one and two. Those are what have to be done. Then I have other things I would like to get done, but if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. I also want to get a video edited and uploaded today. Um, I have it rough edited right now. I just have to add like my voice over to it. So I think, I think because my hair and makeup looks okay right now, I am going to sit down and film first. And then after those videos are filmed, I'm going to hopefully upload the other video that I wanted to get done. Uh, but I will show you guys a little bit around the studio. I don't really know if there's anything too new that you guys haven't seen in a while. I don't even remember what my last studio vlog was about, so I don't even know like where we're at. Let's go over to the filming space and I'll just show you what's up there. This is the one that I actually want to edit for this tutorial. I think it turned out so fun, but it's using some new Cocoa and Clara gel polishes. Um, so that is what we're gonna do after we film. I did get in three new red iguana hands. So this is April, is it? Hang on. No, this is Inessa. This is Anna Louise. And then this is Liza. Uh, so now I have all of the hands. Creative Beauty brought in the red iguana hands. So I have them all now, which is just so, so exciting. Um, I use these all the time for videos, um, for tutorials. Lately I've been, when I do like collection reviews and they're like a smaller collection of gel polishes, such as this one over here. I'll do a tutorial with it too, showing you guys some ways to use the gel polishes. So I think that that's pretty fun. Uh, so I definitely reach for the hands a lot more lately. And then I also got the fingers here too, which these are fantastic for my swatch and review videos. And they're also great for compilation videos. So all of these are like staples and just kind of sit at my desk here. And then these, this is the new Fusion collection. I haven't opened them at all. I just like have them sitting here ready to film. I also have like, this is all new stuff over here that needs to be filmed too. So a whole bunch of stuff from Glitter Mix Canada uh, that'll be coming up in a haul video, I think in December. And then this is the Beamy collection here. They sent out like a PR box like this and it came with, it was like wrapped in a really cool pink bow. It was really neat. And then it has all of the new collection in here. So it's like a neutral collection, which I love neutral collections. I love when companies do that. Light Elegance released a neutral collection like so many years ago. I can't even think of how many years ago it was. And it was still to this day one of my favorite collections that they ever launched um, because I still use a lot of the colors. So the Beamy packaging, it's really nice. It has like this matte white and then it's got these like dome kind of sides on it and then rose gold 
pinky rose gold top and then you can see the colors at the top. I love when companies do this because not everybody stores their polishes like sitting on a polish wall. Some people store them in their drawers. Uh, so this is nice that you can see the colors on top. So those are our two priorities today. First up, I need to tidy up the space though and get ready for, oops, get ready for filming. I am going to do face filming and overhead filming, so I need to set up for both of those. My returns bin came back just because I've been doing so much filming lately. Swarovski's like years ago for oh my gosh what was it for it was some sort of DIY project I was going to do in the nail studio and just never did it and anyway they make excellent background props so I need to find somewhere to put these because they looked really cool in the video when I was trying to film like the cutaway clips and stuff um they look great in it so Backgrounds. I have all of my seasonal ones here. I actually wouldn't mind just using this wood grain one. For some reason, I thought I had like a wood grain. There we go. It has like snow on it. I'm totally using that one. I don't know what the collection is for Fusion. Like, I don't know any of the colors or anything. Um, I do know that it's a very Christmas collection though. So I definitely want a background that is like wintry and Christmassy. These flowers here are from Rhonda at Glitter Boutique. She sent them to me this week on a day that I was really just struggling. So it really, really helped. Um, and I just am forever grateful for the connections and people that I have met in this community because everybody has been so supportive and understanding and patient with me during this uh, strange time. So uh, if you're watching this Rhonda, thank you so much. Um, they're gonna be displayed in the backgrounds of my videos until they are no longer with us. <laughs> but right now they look beautiful, so it's definitely gonna be a background. Steve and I have been watching um, the show on Netflix, it's called Olympus. Well, it's all about like Greek mythology, but if you like like fantasy type of shows, it's a really good show. Uh, anyway, when we watch like pretty intense shows, I tend to like pick at my nails. So I totally picked off this nail last night. Uh, so I just have to fix that before I film because I can't film with like one nail missing. Chocolate dipped raspberry. It is like my perfect shade of like a red burgundy type of color it's like rosy toned but it's still kind of red I really really like it I did these nails I think last weekend and um, I'm not at all sick of this color I just finished filming my fusion winter it literally took me all morning probably about well shoot what time is it I feel like it's like one o'clock Oh my gosh, it's two o'clock. It took me like four hours to film that video. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I woke up with a giant cold sore this morning. I usually only get cold sores, like well, I got them a lot when I was pregnant. So hormonal related, I'm not pregnant. Or like if I'm really stressed. So anyway, usually I can feel them coming on and I didn't even notice until I woke up this morning and I'm like, really on my filming day? Couldn't you have just held out one more day? But I am done filming. I'm really hungry. Um, 
my husband put the girls down for a nap not too long ago so i have the monitors in here because he had some errands to go run um i'm gonna go upstairs and make something quick to eat i'll likely have to hang out with the girls for a little bit um and then i'm gonna come down and finish filming beat me so i'm completely done fusion but i do have to do beat me today um i likely won't have time to do the other things that were on my list today i also like added my fake hands as a background here i'm not entirely sure if i love it um but i just thought it was kind of funny so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna leave them here but I will be setting up my Christmas tree again this year and I'm trying to decide if I want to put it in this corner for filming, which I really like. But at the same time, on a regular basis, I have my carts here and like I utilize this corner for like storage. Um, another option I was kind of thinking is to separate this, like move this over here and move everything down and then put my Christmas tree here. I think that that would also make a really good background as well, like to start filming in front of this space. Obviously, it's like pretty messy. Violet gets into these when she's down here with my husband when he's working. Um, and I don't know where she put them. I'm gonna have to like ask him where they went. So for Beamy's background, uh, because it's just a neutral collection, it's not like a, I don't know, winter or like seasonal collection, I guess. I wanna use like a neutral background. So I think this one's gonna work really nicely love using animal print but sometimes it's just like a little too busy and I really don't want the packaging to like get washed out I think that'll be okay it's like a hundred percent my cat like she's really she follows me wherever I go sort of thing so We'll see how this goes. She might end up getting kicked out. She's pretty good. It's the other one that's like gets into everything and he's um he's really big. Like she's very, very petite. Uh, I don't know if I've said her name on here before. Her name's Pearl. And she's very, very petite. She's a very small cat. She was the rent of the litter and she's at one point she was bigger than her brother, but she's yeah, she's just really little. So anyway, uh when Bruce comes in here, he like just knocks everything over. But when Pearl's in here, she's usually pretty dainty and she's usually okay. She's usually sitting on my lap, actually. Anyway, continuation of the last vlog that you guys watched. Uh, so it is Wednesday today. Um, both my kids are in care all day today, which is great. It's 8.30. It's early. So hopefully I can get a good start. Um, I have to stop working at about 3 because I have an appointment at 3.30. On our agenda today, uh, the Beamy Beauty Box Neutral, I think it's called Nudity Collection. Um, video goes live today so I just need to finish editing it um, it's mostly done I just have to edit it and then make mini clips and thumbnails and all that stuff uh, so that's priority number one that's why I'm sitting at my computer and then I need to start filming for Sarah's and my collaboration um, it's gonna look a little different this year I'm gonna wait until it actually goes live to tell you guys about it but um, there's some content for it that I can sit down and film today which is what I want to do and I was actually thinking of um, trying to film like a favorite products for winter and Christmas from Creative Beauty and posting that on their Black Friday sale. Uh, so I'm hoping I have enough time to do that as well. But my studio is a mess. I would love to do some tidying in here. I bought some new organizers yesterday from HomeSense. And you guys are going to see that in a video coming up in December. But I wouldn't mind trying to set those up today as well. Yeah, so anyway, we'll see what ends up happening. But priority number one is to get that Beamy video done. Oh, my final cut updated. The little logo looks a little different. My desk is a mess. My husband is still working from home. He's, I don't know how to word it, but his work has said to 100% work from home for the rest of the year. So he was starting to go back into work and like cases are rising a lot in my area. So his work said, no, like everybody work from home. And instead of setting up like him in my space, we actually set him up an office in his man cave, which is great because now I can, I don't have to worry about like my things looking different every single time I come down here. It's just all ready to rock and roll every day, which is excellent. Um, and plus he has his own space, which I'm sure he appreciates as well. So anyway, we did all that the last couple of days. So I haven't had a chance to really sit down and tidy my space and it's like you can tell it's looking pretty bad so anyway i'm gonna get working on this video editing 
this video. It is about quarter to 11 now. I just, I always like to just kind of check and make sure this is moving. I used to have a lot of problems with uploading on my computer when it would get too full. It's not full right now. Uh, whenever I start like new big projects like this, I delete like all my footage and everything off of there just so I don't have any problems with it anymore. Uh, but it's just like ingrained in me to like check. Like my internet is directly connected to my computer so that things upload a lot faster versus like trying to use the Wi-Fi. But I have to make sure that I have the Wi-Fi shut off. So what video was I uploading? Oh, my Fusion collection review for the winter. I had my Wi-Fi turned on. Oh my God, it took forever to upload. So if it's direct connected to the internet, it uploads in like no time. And then on YouTube, then it needs to process still. So the whole entire thing takes about 45 minutes. And usually in that downtime, I can use my laptop to edit my thumbnails and stuff, but my husband is using my laptop until he gets his laptop in. So uh, instead, I need to figure out what I want to do for the remainder of my workday today. I think I'm going to sit down and film that video for Creative for... Uh, what do I want to use? I have a staple lately. It's just, just a plain notepad. All these fancy like planners and stuff that I have and... Every once in a while, I just like to use a nice notepad. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit down and kind of brainstorm my recommendations for Black Friday pickups um, for Creative Beauty specifically because they're having a really big sale and they have a ton of different products. So that's what I'm just gonna do right now. take long to upload at all so now I can get my thumbnail edited what else is I gonna do oh I need to edit a mini clip too so I'm gonna do all of those really quick and then it'll be time for lunch so I'm gonna go have lunch after that but um, that is our priority right now <music> guys just keeping it real over here my studio is a hot mess like so I just have to tidy up this is like so bad but I just have to tidy up like this area so that it looks okay for filming and then gather everything that I need to film um, the creative recommendations video fun this is actually something that I picked up yesterday again it'll be shown in a video in December but look at these like crystals aren't these so cool I think they're gonna fall out but I picked these up at home sense and they're just like little paperweights but I think they're gonna be great for the backgrounds of videos I think I'm just gonna keep them in this box because they work so well um and then little snowflake dishes I've been using these type of dishes all over my studio Cute little snowflake dishes. You can put crystals in them or something like that. beauty video so that one should be up by now by the time you guys are watching this I have no idea when the studio vlogs going up I have full intentions for this video to go up like before December and before Sarah's and my collab video goes up but I have no idea if that's actually gonna happen um, but at least it's filmed <laughs> so that's good I'm gonna end the video here though so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you in my next video bye